question here uh, from Travis. It's what is more important, horsepower or torque? Uh, come over here. I'll uh, follow, follow me over here. I'll, I'll, I'll show you something while I'm answering this question. So the difference really between horsepower and torque is it, it's a good question. Torque is the twisting force you feel in a, in a diesel. It's not that you feel that they produce. The horsepower is simply how fast you produce the torque. So really, in a towing situation and racing and everything, it's really horsepower is what you're going to be concerned with. If you're making horsepower at a lower RPM, your torque numbers are going to be higher. If your horsepower doesn't come in until later, your torque is going to be lower. And what happens here, like on our compound kits here, for example, we're using just a small turbo uh, and basically it's going to spool up really quick because of the smaller turbo. And this is a stock or S475 kit here. And then uh, the big turbo produces tons of airflow on top end. And we're going to go into this a little later. But what this does is it gives good horsepower and torque numbers because it produces horsepower at a very low RPM. A lot of times a bigger turbo has a real rough time. Let's, I want to show you another thing over here. Come over here. All right, I'm, I'm going to show you something that we've done here at Diesel Power Source. It's a really cool feature with our turbos and, and just reminded me and I thought I'm going to show this. Okay, these are, this is a, a typical 270 degree thrust bearing and this is what most of like the S300 style turbos will come with. And th some, of the, some of the more race ready turbos have a six pad, but this only has a three pad bearing. If you can see that, I'm going to try and get it to focus here. But basically this is the thrust bearing that goes, that goes inside the turbo that uh, uh, prevents the forward and back motion, the thrust motion in the turbo. And this is the failure point of most turbos. So what we've done here is we've actually got a 360 degree thrust bearing. And this isn't necessarily a super unique thing in a 360 degree. What we have done is very unique though. I want to show you the difference in size, number one, of the diameter. So I'll put that down there. This is their thrust bearing or the standard 270 degree. Look at the diameter difference if I hold this over over here this is if, if it's hard to see this is considerably larger here <clears throat> now what we're doing is it's a two-piece collar so it basically goes in this way and this way and it allows uh, the bearing to spin in there but what's cool about this 360 degree thrust bearing that no one else is doing is the way we've got the oil pressurizing in seven pads across the bearing actually pressurize it most 360 bearings go in the middle and don't fully pressurize the bearing part so the other, the other thing we've done that is super unique, and we've been doing this since August of last year, and we have not had one failure, despite even having customers run out of oil in their turbos, is we are using materials that are used, uh, we're using materials in there that are so hard, the only thing harder that we could find was ceramics, and it's used in cutting tools. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna bring my tablet in here, show you some, some cool stuff.